yeah see this this is the error that i was getting yesterday i struggled a lot to solve this problem i also found that a lot of people have the same issue they got 403 forbidden error from the tweep so hello guys welcome back this is actually in continuation to my last stream where i wanted to build a very simple twitter bot which would post messages to my twitter account there are tons of tutorial you will see uh, in internet or youtube but uh, i tried to follow them in fact i tried to follow them but uh, i also ran into uh, a problem which most of you might be already facing which i want to address here yeah let me repeat this what i did already yeah of course you need to have a twitter account you have to have a developer account also to have the developer account uh, go to your twitter page then select more then go to the settings and privacy then go to the additional resources and developers okay because i have already got the developer account already so i see this uh, portal but uh, i think you might have to uh, when you see it for the first time you have to go down somewhere and you have to uh, you know apply for it okay this is my developer dashboard and you can see already there is one project the app name is you tweep okay let me create a new app let's say staging next let's say this name as my you tweep next so you just have to copy this api but by default you will get a read only uh, api keys and all those things so you don't want to do this if you want to use your bot for posting some messages okay so if you want to post any messages this api keys you don't want to use it so just go to dashboard app will go here again see if you see this uh, authentication setup you have to go here and you have to change this put it something like this yeah let me just fill it for you https okay and localhost okay here https and let's say uh, your public home page or personal home page okay whatever now save it changing permission might affect your app yes because we need this right and we go to uh, app detail keys and regenerate see this you have to regenerate everything okay and this uh, once you regenerate so this will regenerate okay and i have uh, copied these things and you use in your bot and regenerate this one copy these things and use in your bot okay so i just want to delete this i'll just delete this app by default again let me repeat it again by default the app comes with read only permission and the tokens that you see that cannot be used for posting any messages with the read permission actually you will get a bearer token that can still be used for reading tweets so now let's talk about what we need to build the bot okay if you are a python developer you can use this tweep library to build your bot if you are not uh, very comfortable with python you can always go and see this uh, documentation tools and libraries supported by twitter in fact i would highly recommend to go and follow this documentation i ran into problem because i didn't follow their documentation instead i just went ahead and tried to use tweep okay so it is good to follow these docs so go to i just want to so use something here uh, we can go to we can go to twitter api and make your first request okay post a tweet and sample code so this is the github repo for twitter api okay and if you see here the api actually they have the java library and javascript also and here python okay while using this library make sure that you export these keys and these keys as i told you already these keys are here okay keys and tokens tab uh, you can copy it from here and you can set them up okay now let's go back to the code which code you want to use um, yeah this is the folder that you should go in and for python you have to use this create tweet py file okay code looks really very big but uh, it is very simple okay 
in fact i could use this library to overcome the problem which i saw with twippy yesterday so what is the problem yesterday let me show you what is the problem okay yeah this is the code which i exactly i copied it from here uh, i have a config.py file where i have already set up all the secrets okay i don't want to expose that uh, this is a good way to keep your secrets in a different file and import that okay so yeah um, and then just a few lines of code right and it didn't work you see here uh, there is a 403 forbidden error right from twp library so if you are facing that problem then you have two options to solve that one is this one okay where you will use uh, python code which is shared by twitter itself twitter dev okay let's go back here and i have already copy pasted this uh, code tweet to you.py and uh, let me just increase this this is the exact same code okay i am using my uh, auth tokens okay instead of hello world i have written tweet from my bot so let's go to my home page okay and you see the last tweet is like december 12 2021 so it's far away right there is nothing there okay now let's see close it and i'll run this code python and tweet to you okay i'm running it you will get something like this uh, got auth token please go here to authorize so this is one thing that you have to do manually go to this place so this is my app utweep authorize app okay this pin you have to use here paste the pin here right so I'll paste it and then wow so it worked response code is 201 which means it's a success okay and tweet from my bot is written let's go and see in my home page okay and i got it you see this 22 seconds before tweet from my bot the problem here is you still had to do some manual work this can be again automated by some other script but if you don't want to do this okay you don't want to do this then you have to work on another thing which will also solve the problem with the tweep library so the 403 error that we are getting that we are not getting here and in fact we could actually post a message right post a tweet without using a tweep library and you know using a python library provided by the uh, twitter dev right so this is again still some little bit of manual job you have to do if you don't want to write any further code right how can we solve this this problem can be solved by taking a elevated access when you create your app for the first time you actually get a essential access and that is still valid that is still enough for all the testing and all kind of work once you achieve that once you get that even the twippy library will work yeah you can see here if you don't have the elevated access then it will show you when you go to overview um, yeah when you go to project overview you will see this apply for elevated okay so you just have to click apply for elevated okay and uh, then you have to fill the purpose of your project like why are you building this project what is the use of this project how are you going to use the twitter data in this particular project or you know uh, in this using this api so things like that there are few questionnaire you just have to fill it be honest for me it instantly got approved so i doubt that any person is looking at but i am sure that there is some ai engine which is validating your text and deciding whether it will allow a elevated access immediately or they will put you on hold okay for some of the developers i have seen um, you have to wait for a few days also thanks for watching guys and i hope this helps and it will unblock you from the 403 problem if you are facing it